What is up guys, this is Heartless Gamer here coming to you to another Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies video. Today we're going to be doing the fifth and final core value of the Easter egg for Alpha Omega. So this is going to be the final core value, then you get to go into the boss fight. That'll be the next video. That will be in the description below, but we're going to get started here. So once you're done, the last core value, you're going to come back and talk to Rushmore. He'll say a bunch of stuff for a few minutes, and then you're going to go around and look for these mannequins. These mannequins, as far as I know, are random, but there will be three of them. Um, so you just got to kind of look around for them. And you'll know it's the right one because you'll see the flashing, glowing, electrical stuff around the mannequin. That's how you know you have found the correct one. Um, so what will happen is it will lock you inside of the room area. So it will get a little bit of hectic. So just keep, keep that in mind uh, when people get down and stuff like that. Uh, so do what you can. And do the best you can with that. But, yeah, you'll be trapped inside. Uh, it's like a minute. You kill a bunch of zombies, and then you'll get to pick up a part that the mannequin won't drop. Um, there are three mannequins, like I said, so you'll need two part. You'll need two arms and a head. Um, once you're done that, you come back, you pick it up. Uh, I just didn't pick it up the first time, so that's why I'm going back here, so you can see why I went back. I went to go pick up the part. He'll say, oh, you know, you picked up whatever and whatever. You know, there's like two more, one more, whatever it is. Um, so the next one that I found was down in the diner area. Um, you can see it's the glowing one. There are a couple down here, a couple mannequins down here. So just keep that in mind that they're, don't get confused with which one. You can tell by the glowing, um, the glowingness of the mannequin. But, you know, uh, it'll last a couple minutes. You might get a maxed ammo. Uh, no guarantees. I do, uh, one tip I would say for this is definitely having the flamed grenades um, as they've helped me in the past with this Easter egg um, from like the generator room and just getting those tight corners for this map. So definitely I highly recommend having those and uh, having your special ready or at least each one of you guys having your special ready for this. Um, the next one that we ended up finding was in the back of this house by the uh, tran uh, transfusion facility. Um, this is the third and final one that we found, and it was the head. Um, so the third one's going to be the head, the first two will be the arms. So, once you're done killing those, you're going to go back, um, to the house next to this, and you'll go and put the pieces on the mannequin. As you can see there, it has you blocked in, so you can only go so far in a certain area, um, in order to get out of the area. But, you'll go into the, uh, ADP room control um yeah the control room no correction the interrogation room and that is where you will take these mannequin pieces you'll go ahead and go put the mannequin pieces over here in the interrogation room on this guy rushmore will say a bunch of stuff to the mannequin um it's i believe it's peter mccain is who it is um he'll say a bunch of stuff about my soul and stuff like that he'll say oh you gotta come find the soul um as far as i know what you got to do next is look for this soul. After he's done talking for like five minutes, you'll go look for this soul. Um, as far as I know, it's on the outside perimeter of the map inside kind of a zombie barrier door. That's where it seems to be found. Um, and it's, it's kind of random um, across the map. So you just got to kind of keep looking for it. Uh, I found it in a couple different spots. One of them one is, is what I'm going to show you now. Um, this is up upstairs in the house. Um, it was both houses actually I found them in, but this is the one I found here. You're just going to follow him around the map. Um, I recommend staying as close as possible you can to him. Otherwise, he'll just like stop moving and you can't get progress any further. He'll like travel you onto a journey throughout the whole map for some reason. I don't know why, but you just got to stay very close to it. I recommend having maybe the shotgun <coughs> uh, for this Easter egg too. Definitely helps us. Or if you are able to get the ray gun mark too. Um, that is definitely helpful for this uh, step as well, as it can get hectic following around a glowing red or glowing blue orb. Because some reason called Call of Duty is notorious for making glowing blue orbs you follow around the maps for these Easter eggs. But you'll follow the soul, <coughs> and he'll go back. He basically goes back into the mannequin. That's all he's doing, um, and that's pretty much what will bring up to um, the end of this part of the the easter egg um he'll go and he'll come back into there you'll see the flash just how you know you've completed it he'll do his thing and then you're pretty much he'll just talk for another five minutes because he loves talking to peter mccain um guys that's pretty much it for this this step 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys next time here on my channel. Tell me what you think about this video below. Definitely smash that like button and subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, that was beautiful. You proved you understand the physical value. Report to operations. You know the drill.